Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter on Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced, edgy show, bringing the best press release out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investments Wednesday, September the 28th. I've got six press releases for you. I guess the markets are green. Small caps are putting out press releases. These are good ones, as always, quality for quantity. First up, uh, BFUT International, BFTI on the OTC. Uh, they put out their full year results for fiscal 2011. Uh, revenues up 77.9%. Net income up 113.9%. This is a developer, manufacturing, distributive wire and cable products in China. Uh, here's what's impressive. Total revenues, $55.6 million compared to 31.3. Uh, gross profit, 14.9 compared to 8.3 million. Net income, 9.4 million or 33 cents per share uh, compared to four compared to four million uh, four point four million fifteen cents per share. Now, why am I emphasizing that 33 cents per share number? The company closed yesterday at 15 cents per share. So I'm not sure what's going on here. I haven't done any research into the company beyond what I saw today. I don't know if it has major skeletons in the closet or if it's a Chinese baby being thrown into bathwater big time. It does have a 52 week high of a dollar 25. Uh, and it's trading right now. It's 52 equal 15 cents. Do your own due diligence. Make sure that their market cap is about under $5 million and their revenues are $55 million. So either something wrong or we found the gem of a lifetime, but it's worth four or five minutes for you to take a look at. Next up, Echo Tech Energy Group, ECTH. Uh, I like this for the small, for the small cap energy and resources space. Award a $36 million contract. Uh, this is a contract for its proprietary garbage to concrete processing systems, and it looks like Hospital Medical Express of Ecuador has placed the order. Uh, it looks like six of these systems for use in six regions across Ecuador, uh, $6 million each, so it looks like six is, is a lucky number. Uh, an initial deposit from, uh, from uh, Hospital Medical Express of $6 million. Uh, these process systems are designed to convert, as you can imagine, trash into reusable concrete for industrial products. I've never heard of that before. Uh, sounds interesting to me. Uh, if you see a $36 million contract, there's got to be some validity to this. Do your due diligence, but I like the sounds of this. They closed yesterday at $0.48. Cents. 52 week range is 11 on the high, uh, 11 on the low, sorry, 60 on the high. Ecotech this morning, uh, unchanged, but we just started trading at 48 cents. So, uh, do some due diligence on that one. Marathon Gold Corp, TSX, MOZ is their symbol. Intersected 5.07 grams ton of gold over 21 and a half meters. Uh, this at their open pit target at the Golden Chest Mine in Idaho. The company says that open pit resource drilling continues to, continues to show good intercepts of near surface gold mineralization. They own 50% of this project along with New Jersey Mining Company. Phil Wofford, president CEO of the company, had a really good uh, quote. So we got an excerpt here that says a lot about this. He says, we're seeing better than expected grades in the Idaho open pit, open pit target compared to the Newmont reverse circulation drilling completed 30 years ago. It's clear from work done at the site this year that the open pit potential is much larger than initially estimated, and results support the potential for a robust open pit mine. Those are pretty strong words uh, coming out of the company, so I would pay attention to those uh, if, he's that, if that's what he's saying. Closed yesterday, dollar twenty-seven, fifty-two week range, a dollar in the low, two oh seven on the high. Marathon this morning, unchanged as well. But again, we've just started trading, uh, so that's not a surprise. But I like the words coming out of Phil Wofford there. Uh, you may want to do some research and see if he can own up to that. Galway Resources, Venture Exchange, GWY, intersected 16 meters of 29.5 grams ton of gold and 16 meters of 10.6 grams ton of gold. They've completed 11, 11 additional drill holes. Go take a look at them on the press release. Uh, it's on the California Gold Silver property, uh, property in Colombia. Uh, which they say is located adjacent to and on strike with the La Bodega La Mascada deposit, which was acquired for $1.5 billion in cash by AUX Canada. Uh, what I like here is they have three diamond drill rigs operating on the, on the project, and they've got a fourth rig coming in November, so they're taking this seriously. They obviously believe in their results. Uh, 52-week range, $1.53 and 71 cents. Closed yesterday, $1.14. Uh, this morning, Galway down a penny. On 129,000 shares, but it is early. Uh, bid and ask dollar 13, dollar 14, so it looks uh, l rather flattish. Fortune Industries, Amex, FFI, put out their numbers. Full year for June uh, June 30, 2011. Net income, 
uh, $1.28 million or $0.09 cents per fully diluted share. Uh, EBITDA, $2.57 million versus $1.7 uh, revenue 64.33 versus 60.69 last year, but it's that earnings per share number I'm taking a look at that uh, if they did nine, so basically trading about five and a half times earnings based on their close yesterday of uh, uh, 50 cents. They're 52 week range is 22 on the high, 90 on the low. Fortune Industries actually up uh, 13.5 percent. It's only on 3,000 shares, but it's early, uh, but that's up uh, just under seven cents. So someone likes this news and on a, on, a, on a pure multiple basis, that sounds pretty good. Uh, what do they do? I also like the space. They're a professional employer organization to small and medium businesses across 47 states. As long as employment in the U.S. remains a problem, companies are not going to be hiring full-time. They're looking for good part-time work, uh, seasonal work, and companies like this are going to benefit big time, my, in my opinion. That's why Fortune's probably a company to watch for a couple of years if you think that the employment situation is going to remain uh, uh, rather loose there in the U.S. And finally, RAN Worldwide, RWWI, also put their financial numbers for June 30, 2011. That's full year. Uh, revenue, $89 million. Net income, $1.8 million, or $0.03 cents per share. Now, on a multiple basis, they're trading pretty healthy. They closed at $0.75 cents just, uh, yesterday. So uh, they're trading about 25 times multiple on their earnings per share. Uh, on a revenue basis, they might be cheap. Market cap's just under $40 million, and they did revenue of 90. Uh, so there's some space in there. But I think they got some full value, especially given, this, uh, given where we're at with the markets today. What do they do? They're provider of technology solutions and professional services to the engineering community. So I like that. Very, very specific, very, uh, very targeted in what they're doing. Uh, and that's why they're probably doing pretty well. Rand, uh, this morning, flat, uh, bidding 68 to 75, again, early. Uh, but I thought you should know about those numbers. That's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity, six great press releases. If you look for more great small cap companies and you watch this on Globe Investor, look below me or the left of me. Uh, to see the companies we've covered over the past few days. Otherwise, if you're not already there, get to the front page of Agoracom, watch this show, take a look at the best headlines on my right, and get into our marketplace to discover your next great small cap stock. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.